Hey, I'd like to show you some of the things I have in Central Florida, Zone B. The fruits and vegetables and everything that grows here, plus the benefits and some of the pleasant flowers that I have that you can enjoy, okay? The first plant I'm gonna talk about today is called the Foss Glove. The scientific name is called Digitalius. This plant, medical use, is used for heart failure. The common prescription is called Digoxin. Yes, it's a beauty, but keep it away from your pets and your children. Now, blackberries may protect you against heart disease. It can help prevent cancer, boost brain power, anti-inflammatory, and support oral health. The leaves provide extracts used in traditional medicine for mouthwash against thrust, gum inflammation, mouth ulcers, and sore throats. You can make it in the form of a tea, which the leaves are high in vitamin C and other benefits. The blackberry bush. Hmm. When I brought this variegated pineapple, they told me I could eat this as edible, but I haven't had one yet. But the regular pineapple is very beneficial. It has a lot of fiber. It supports the immune system, the digestive system, heals injuries, arthritis, it helps with arthritis, and it also is good for the system. Very good for you. But I'm still trying to figure this one out now. But it's very good for my yard, and I love it, and it grows very nice, and my neighbors love it. Hey, this is my carry mango tree. It's a sweet, fibreless, flesh mango. Very good. Hey, it's so sweet. This squirrel keeps taking my mangoes and biting them all up. Oh my gosh, look at this. See the squirrel and got to the mangoes. Ain't that something? Even biting through the bag. You see that? See squirrel ain't giving it a chance, creating flies, everything. I came up with a solution though. Just tearing them up, trying to get them before they can even get right. Okay. See my little gadget I made. Let me show y'all. Got a bamboo stick. Put some string, whatever I have. I have no wire. And it pulls down the mangoes. I'm gonna show you how. Okay. See that mango right there? Let me show y'all. If I can get good, because I'm the only one filming this. Okay, that's my mangoes. That's the mangoes I just pulled off the tree. With my new gadget I made homemade. <laughs> Do it yourself. This is my Brewster lychee tree I brought from South Florida. Lychees are rich in iron, copper, manganese, phosphorus, and magnesium, which improves bone and heart health. It has plant compounds which helps protect against oxidative stress, chronic disease, cataract, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. This is a very, very good fruit, and it tastes very, very good. Whew! You talking about some good eating? Oh my God. You need to get you a lychee tree right away. My next tree I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get the, the sweetheart. Delphinium is a very beautiful flower but it's also toxic. Keep it away from your kids and your pets. There are some medicinal uses, but 
I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to enjoy the beauty and watch it grow. Grow, grow, grow. Geraniums are very beautiful too. I heard both the flowers and the flowers are edible, but I never tried it. I need to do more research. But I love growing them. I have more I have to collect and gather up. They're very beautiful, very beautiful, easy to grow. Now these wax begonias, I got them from Lowe's on a clearance rack. They was about to die and I had to get them. They're very beautiful. Now these colors, these are my babies. They're new to me and I'm just trying them out. There's different types and I want to try different ones and do some good landscaping in my yard. Beautiful, beautiful. I got inspired by these by watching somebody on YouTube. I can't get the name right quick, but boy, they, they was doing a great job with these. Mm-hmm, patchouli. This is very, very nice. The leaves smell nice, the flowers smell nice. I can't wait till the flowers start to grow. You can make perfume out of this. This is herb, very nice. It smells better than the patchouli you buy in the store. Natural patchouli is the best patchouli. Boy, I tell you, easy to grow, lovely. The leaves smells lovely. The fragrance is so nice. And in the back is my variegated basil. Whew, smells nice. The wind blows, you smell basil, 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 basil. Hmm, what a relief, stress relief. And this is called Society Garlic. It is very, very good. Herbal, can eat it. Insects, oh my gosh, go away. Pretty purple flower. Arabian Jasmine. Very beautiful, sweet smell, Woo, very sweet. All you gotta do is take one piece and put it in the ground and you got another one. This is a beautiful, sweet plant. Hmm. Knockout roses would knock you out. The canis, it comes in different colors, beautiful colors. But also there's one type that actually makes air root powder. Strawberries. Excellent source of vitamin C and magnesium. Has a decent amount of vitamin B, folate, and potassium. Strawberries are very rich in antioxidants. You should try growing some. By me growing strawberries, they're multiplying. The vines are growing, growing like crazy. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Ease inflammation, boost your immune system, lower your cholesterol level, and keep your blood from clotting. Woo! I tell you what, I need a lot of that, and I got a lot of that. I love me some hostas, shade plants. Reliable and very easy to grow. Guess what? This is a beautiful plant, has a beautiful flower, but it's edible. Chinese have been doing it for years, but guess what? I'm not Chinese, that part. Okay, hostas has phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, magnesium, zinc, copper, and iron. Woo, boy, I tell you, I may do my research on this one. May have to try it. This is my Amazon Lily. I've had it for years and years and years. It just multiply and multiply. It's a very good indoor plant also. Very good indoor plant also. Check this out. Beautiful flowers, right? Very beautiful flowers. I enjoy this with you all very, very, very much. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. And thank you for your patience. Thank you guys for joining me. Peace, love, and happiness. And grow, grow, grow.